cheap one because in England it's, it's easy to find an expensive one. Okay, well there's one straight down that way. Oh, it's an American themed pub though. Nope, 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 nope. Hi, it's a pretty interesting day. We went to uh, because today's today's match with um, Russia and Spain. I'm, I'm not supporting Russia, sorry. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> it's pretty weird to be here in the UK. Everything's so fresh. I've been out to the city and I saw so many different shops that I've never seen before. I think it's really interesting and it's so cool. I don't know, this whole experience is it's crazy. It's I can't believe that I'm here, you know. But I have been missing out all this time. Go! Yes. Hi guys, so I have just arrived at my accommodation and Shao's looking pretty empty as you can see. Um, I just wanted to document my travels and my exchange experience and uh, yeah, just talk about it. It's actually 9 p.m. right now and the sun hasn't set yet so I'm pretty thankful for long summer days as compared to the regular Aussie winter days, that's right. Anyway, I'm actually feeling pretty sick right now. I've got this massive stomach ache. I don't know if it's something that I've eaten but this will come to the rescue. Such an Asian thing, po chai pills. Anyway, um, I started feeling sick on the bus ride. It's a really long bus ride. I'm pretty sure it's something that I've eaten. Um, it's been a long day. It's been a long journey. I had a 14-hour flight from Singapore to London and then another three-hour journey from London to Norwich. So here I am and preparing to unpack. The lighting in my room is not really great and as you can see it's pretty basic now because I really couldn't be bothered decorating it. But um hopefully I'll hopefully after I'm packed it'll be nicer and yeah. Mm. So they gave us this goodie bag um for the welcome session. Water bottle, luggage tag. Lanyard with my name on it, a pen. What's this? I think it's a candle. That's all, and they gave me my keys, and so everything is in this welcome pack. Student card right here. Um, cool, so there's like a lot of brochures for me in case like we want to go traveling and stuff. Oh my god, so many. This different facilities in the school, services for students. There's this timetable right here that talks about the arrivals weekend. So it's like our orientation week and we'll be doing some orientation activities. So tomorrow there's a welcome brunch at 10 a.m. and then a campus tour at 12 p.m. There's a dinner at a hotel at 3 p.m. So this is pretty much um, my first two days here. It's gonna be really busy. Yeah, pretty much. And then outside, you have a very nice view of campus. You see that the sun has just begun to set and it's already 10 p.m. So the sun sets really neat nowadays. guys i woke up this morning to the perfect summer weather the sun is shining it's 18 degrees this bed is so soft i love it i have brought my covers from home so these are my all-time favorite pink duvet covers i bring them around the world like feels like home i love bringing these long. I had a really bad stomach ache last night but I think it's all good now. I actually had plans to go to London today but I don't think it'll be happening. We'll be doing an orientation brunch and then we're gonna go to the city to shop for some groceries. <gasps> I'm excited. <laughs>
Hi guys, so I have came back, it kicked off with a welcome brunch and I realized that I've been pronouncing Norwich wrongly all this time. It's called Norwich, not Norwich. So yeah, I made like lots of new friends today. Like I was really worried yesterday that I wouldn't be able to make new friends. So I've met like people from Hungary, people from um, Brazil, and a lot of international people. So um, on my level, there are about like six of us staying here and we share a kitchen. We went grocery shopping just now. Everything's so cheap. I got this pasta salad for maybe for breakfast and just got some oats, got some milk to go with it. Um, yeah, that's it. And hmm, what else? I had a really filling lunch. Um, we had it in this hotel. Like I ordered beef, but it was it was like a um, a main course, a dessert, and the dessert's really cool with like an ice cream on top of hot jam. I've never tasted anything like that in my whole life, so um, that's really cool. We, it's such a filling lunch, and it's the best part is it's free. So uh, yeah, we went to um, pub in the city to watch a World Cup match. A cheap one because in England. It's it's easy to find an expensive one. Okay, well there's one straight down that way. Oh, it's an American themed pub nope, though. Nope, nope, nope. And then we, I had a beer in such a long time like... Are you going to cider? Oh! We're at the pub, ready to watch a match. <laughs> because today's, today's match with um, Russia and Spain. I'm not supporting uh, Russia, sorry. <laughs> Me neither! <laughs> And Spain lost. Yeah, I know. I'm so sad. It's about that. It's already 9 p.m., 8 p.m., 8 ish, 9. And the sun is still up in the sky. I love long days, gosh. And oh, I really love the city. It's so awesome. Europe is so different. It's pretty weird to be here in the UK. Everything's so fresh. I've been out to the city and I saw so many different shops that I've never seen before. I think it's really interesting and it's so cool. And I don't know, this whole experience is... it's crazy. It's... I can't believe that I'm here, you know. But I have been missing out all this time. Yesterday I was pretty anxious because I don't have a travel buddy and I'm scared. Yeah, I'm just scared of traveling alone, I guess. And um, I really hope that I can find someone to travel with. So I'll keep you guys updated. And yeah, peace! <laughs>